My friends, speedrunning and retro gaming has seen its fair share of insane and remarkable claims throughout time. Sometimes the claims can be a little bit too remarkable, if you know what I'm saying. From Ocarina of Time pioneer TSA claiming he'd played the game for 25,000 hours back in 2003, when the game had barely been released for 25,000 total hours, to the legendary claim of 2 million Nightfire matches of Darklight 93 during his Wave of Darkness, to, well, pretty much anything posted to Twin Galaxies by a handful of funny characters throughout the ages. Gaming historians and speedrun observers are no strangers to hearing outrageous claims. Usually, they're just that. Unfounded, unsubstantiated nonsense that, to be fair, might start out as an exaggeration or a spur-of-the-moment brag, and simply doesn't add up nor amount to anything serious. But today, we have a story where OP actually delivered. A crazy claim of an outstanding world record which had been lost to time, but was finally proven after 18 years. Indeed, my friends, buckle up and gather yourself a fine warm beverage, because today it's time to share the story of Miskin's Sunny Beach. Here we go! Sunny Beach is the first course in Wave Race 64, a game which was released in 1996 and was worked on directly by Shigeru Miyamoto himself, who wanted to showcase the Nintendo 64's capabilities in rendering water textures and water physics. And succeed at that he did. If you look at the YouTube comments of any Wave Race 64 video, you'll be sure to find many nostalgic millennials reflecting on how they thought water textures could simply never get more realistic than this. Now, like many first levels in a video game, Sunny Beach is a pretty simple introduction to the game. It's just a narrow oval, like a watery 90s circus maximus, where you race your jet ski around the bends, in between the buoy markers, riding the waves as fast as possible for three laps. But that being said, these first levels often do become extremely competitive, just by the nature of so many people having fond memories of playing them, and wishing to revisit them once they do get into speed gaming and time trialing. The first substantiated record claim we have for Sunny Beach 3 lap is 105427 by David Wan from April 1997, only months after the game's release. Now unfortunately there's no video of this record, but it is in line with what other gamers were getting at that time, 105s and 106s on decent, more entry level runs of the game with basic fundamental knowledge. David Wan has been long established in the Mario Kart community for nearly 30 years, so this 105 is considered a good starting point in Sunny Beach history. From this point on, we'd see the Sunny Beach record get lowered through the 2000 aughts into the early 2010s, mainly by two characters. Japanese runner Hayat64 and Swedish gamer Illudu. These were the first two players to provably achieve times of 104s on the stage, pushing the boundaries and optimizations of the Sunny Beach course lower and lower, grinding out these tenths and hundreds of seconds. I love these comments from years ago on Illu's 104.167, posted to YouTube on July 28th, 2009. Ryan Lockwood. Great run, Illu. Man, I now know what kind of turns are required. I think I'm gonna have a shot at this record. Might take me a while. My settings are back to normal also. So all the time I will save, lol. Great job. Oh yeah, you need to play some more Goldeneye online with Clemens and I. I heard you played with him yesterday or something. Shibipod writes, Hey Alu, I have another question. Are there any major differences between NTSC and the US Virtual Console release of the game? My best time on Sunny Beach on my N64 Hori pad is something like 104.7, and all three leaderboard spots are less than a hundredth away from it. But on VC, I have made a run in 
how could I have been so much faster? Also, I noticed Drake Lake's fog is slightly easier to see through, but my time is mid-113 on N64 and only low-114 on Virtual Console with GameCube controllers. To which Illu responds, It's been known for a while that some games like Mario 64 do run faster on Virtual Console, so it's very possible that's the case with Wave Race as well. I haven't been able to test this myself yet since I don't have the Virtual Console. It's almost surreal to see these comments from more than a decade ago, especially from Shibipod and Lockwood, and knowing how the history of Sunny Beach plays out from here, so keep that in mind. Lou would get the first ever 103, eking it out with a 103.975 in September 2011, which was a significant moment in the history of Sunny Beach. To this day, more than a decade later, we still haven't seen a 102 on the stage, so the first 103 is quite significant. And Lou's run would seem to remain the record for roughly three years. But beginning in December 2014, that's when Shibipod would catch up to the world records on most of the game, and it would be the beginning of the Shibipod era, which frankly is something that still hasn't let up to this very day as he still remains the champion of the game with the most world records. Yes, dude. Here's a run, a 103.9 by Shibipod, that displays a number of best times saved on his cartridge, getting them down to the mid-103s. He would slowly continue cutting this down through 2015 into the low 103s, like with this 103.377. However, on November 5th, 2015, we would see a one-off pop-off when none other than Ryan Lockwood himself, of Streets 112 fame, would join the fray by setting his own world record on Sunny Beach. This was about two years removed from his Streets 112 glory, and while it didn't receive the same level of fame and memory, it is still a truly remarkable speedrun and a classic Woody reaction. Oh my god, I did it! Yes! I, 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 I did it! Oh my god! Sunny Beach Woody is here. I got the world record just now. Are you kidding me? No, what I'm not! I just got it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just that's got Sunny Beach world record. That's f***ing incoming, incoming Woody with a world record, dude. Sick, man. Nice. Hell yeah. It's the Woody we know and love. However, his glee was relatively short-lived, as Shibi would take back the record eight days later and would never look back, continuing to trim away time over the next two years to the point where the world record stands today, 103.186. Oh! Yes! Yes! So, to recap, as the story was known, the world record history of Sunny Beach 3 lap went something like this. David Wan's 105 from 1997, 104s by Illu and Hayat through the 2000 aughts into the early 2010s, Illu getting the first 103 in 2011, and then Shibipod lowering the record from the high 103s down to where it stands today, 103.186, with the one exception of Lockwood's 103.326, in 2015. However, everything we had known about the history of Sunny Beach was about to change. Warning, this half of this video contains footage of badly degraded VHS tapes and VCR rolling effects, which may be uncomfortable to photosensitive viewers. Discretion advised. In mid-2017, a Japanese fellow by the name of Misken appeared on the scene with a remarkable claim. He hadn't really known about the modern speedrunning community, that records in these old games were ranked, discussed, and still competed to this very day. But when he found out, likely thanks to the proliferation of speedrun content throughout the internet, he had quite the story to share about his own experiences with speed gaming. Miskin purported that in 1999, he had played a lot of Wave Race 64, particularly Sunny Beach, 
time trialing for his own personal bests and a sense of accomplishment. And that he had actually achieved a 103 all the way back then. A 103.763 to be exact. The first ever 103. He would have done this 12 years before Ilu had supposedly become the first person to get a 103 of any kind. And that technically, Miskin's 103 would have been the world record from 1999 all the way until Shibi started to get records in 2014. If true, this would mean much of the Sunny Beach world record history would have to be rewritten, with players Hayat64 and Ilu never actually having held the world record on the course, nor would Shibipod have held the world record until a time of 103.5 in late 2014 and that the true world record would have belonged to Miskin from 1999 up until that point. But this was just that, a claim, and speed gaming is no stranger to hearing strange and unusual claims of world records from the past, without much, if any, evidence to back them up. And so it would be easy enough to laugh it off as any silly similar claim that has been made over the years likely a false memory, or a nostalgic fellow looking to brag, or any number of usual ways this sort of thing plays out. But Miskin produced something else, an old copy of a Japanese Nintendo magazine which had ranked some high scores in Wave Race and other games. And in this magazine, we see submissions from Miskin for Sunny Beach in the high 103s and low 104s, which seemingly bolster his claim. Now, again, this doesn't mean all that much, because these magazines were notoriously rife with fake scores. Here's an example of one I randomly found, Nintendo 64 Magazine United Kingdom from October 1998, showing a top time on Sunny Beach of 102.694, something that's still a half second faster than the world record today, despite it showing confirmed on the page, and so this time is almost certainly fake. The second place time here, 103.755, could also be dubious, even though it's technically possible, since most players were getting 105 and 104 in this era, so 103s appearing in these magazines were certainly ahead of their time. And that's exactly how one could view this score of Miskin from 999 in the Japanese magazine. Possibly legit, but with no video, you know, it's just a step beyond what was being done in that era to truly believe was legitimate for sure. However, then the unthinkable happened. At least something that I've only seen this once in the history of Nintendo 64's speedrunning. Miskin thought that he might actually still have video footage of his session where he achieved the 103.763. Mind you, this was in the year 2017, and so this video would be 18 years old by this point. But after spending a few weeks digging through old boxes stowed away in an attic or closet somewhere, Miskin dug out just the VHS tape he was looking for. And among a 90 minute recording of a sunny beach session on that VHS tape, we could see Miskin improve his on file personal record and world record from 103.899 to 103.864 and then, in all its VHS glory, showing signs of magnetic degradation and VHS static rolling, not enough of it to discount the run, but just enough to give it the perfect 90s aesthetic one would hope for in such a long lost speed run, we see Miss can play out this remarkable time of 103.763. The run was real. The legend was true. Miskin really had set this unthinkable 103 all the way back in 1999, the time he had claimed in a magazine from that era. He had backed up his claim with video proof. A rare and amazing case of OP truly delivering. Now, there's no absolutely concrete evidence that this was actually set in June 1999. You know, it wasn't locked in a safety deposit box or time stamped in a sealed envelope by the post office or anything. But at this point, given how much Miskin had proven, there was no reason to doubt this part of the claim. It's not like he really gains anything from having a super old speedrun other than a little bit of historical significance. 
And it truly just seems as though this is the story of a guy who found out that people still actually cared somewhat about speedrunning old N64 games, remembered his own old speedrun, and set out to prove what he had achieved years ago. So I firmly believe this to be true, and the Wave Race community does as well, accepting that this run was played in June 1999. The run is made all the more remarkable because Muskin plays in this more distant field of view perspective rather than the up close over the shoulder view which is more commonly used today. This means Muskin's run was rendering more graphics and probably played a bit laggier than modern runs. So one can only imagine what time Muskin could possibly get if he were to have had the full breadth of knowledge that gamers have today but one can also only appreciate the incredible natural gaming skill and intuition that Miskin had in order to achieve this score without knowing all the optimal settings and modes of play. All in all, through a retrospective lens, we can see that Miskin's record stood from June 3rd, 1999 to December 8th, 2014, a period of 15 and a half years, 5,667 days. And as far as I know, this is the longest reign of any untitled record in any Nintendo 64 single level time trial situation. Though it's possible something from an obscure and underplayed game has lasted longer and might be out there. Whatever the case may be, Miskin's remarkable Wave Race 64 Sunny Beach 3 lap world record from 1999, which was kind of lost media for more than 18 years before being found, put online and proven, is the most incredible instance of such an insane claim from the 90s being backed up with video proof nearly 20 years later that I have ever seen. And he has certainly earned his place in Wave Race history with such a remarkable speedrun. It's no longer the world record today, even though it's still a top 20 time, but just watching it certainly harkens you back that golden age of nostalgia and experiencing the first feel of these 3D worlds and beautiful water textures that came to Shigeru Miyamoto in his wildest dreams, finally enacted and laid out there on the Nintendo 64 for millions of gamers to enjoy. With that, stay true my friends, and I'll see you in the next stream or video.